when we think about uh, sustainable economics, what we're thinking about is that we want to ensure that we don't sacrifice, sacrifice future generations for the benefit of our, our present. But we also want to make sure that people today are able to lead healthy lives. And so there is a bit of a tension there. Uh, you know, as you mentioned, there are 870 million people that are going to bed hungry today. And yet the impact of agriculture on the planet is tremendous. And so we, we have this challenge of how do we sustainably and nutritiously feed the people that we have and reduce that environmental footprint. And really the only way that we're going to be able to, you know, thread that needle is through innovation and technology. So I would imagine the challenge is twinfold. You have to provide, uh, as you point out, nutritious food for people, but do it, on the other hand, in a sustainable way. Yeah, and I think that we have, farmers have been on this journey for 100 years. If we were farming today the way we did in 1960, we would need 1 billion additional hectares of land. That's more than a quarter of all the forests on the planet. And so agricultural practices and innovation have already played a tremendous role in reducing the impact of agriculture. The problem is, of course, that we have a lot more people than we did in 1960. And so we need to find new innovations to continue that trend of agricultural innovation and improved productivity in order to get us where we need by 2050, because population is going to grow by another one and a half to two billion people. And we still need to do a better job of feeding those people today.